Good morning, my classy, classy people. How y'all doing? It's Sunday morning. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Having coffee in the studio. It's about 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. And first and foremost, again, as I said in my earlier video this morning, uh, I want to send my prayers out from me and my family and, and, of course, from the community to those folks in Ukraine. I mean, I was watching whatever run across this TV screen this morning. And we ought to send our prayers out for those children and families in Ukraine. I mean, it's just, I mean, just absolutely wickedness, man. And, um, wow. So, again, let's lift those folks up. And you can say what you like about our country. You know, we have our own problems, but it's still the greatest country in the world to live in, for sure. Uh, but, again, I mean, man. So anyway, we're here Sunday morning, and I hope everybody had a good Saturday fairgrounds yesterday. All eyes was on them with the Louisiana Derby. Epic Center doing his thing, and of course, everybody's up in arms about Echo Zulu. Just relax, all right? I mean, four months off, in a dogfight, got it done. This daughter of Gunrunner, undefeated. So I'm going to get a square price the next time she beat down some Phillies because everybody going to think their lying eyes say she can be beat. Not here. Okay, so again, overall good day. Uh, we made a few shackles, had a $20 pick for, uh, obviously with Olympiad and then, you know, uh, Echo Zulu and uh, Gun, um, Gun Runner, Echo Zulu and um, Epic Center. And of course we had... Uh, two Emmy smack dead in the middle of that pick four at 15 to 1, went off 5 to 1, which made it a $39 pick four and 20 times. Not horrible, not horrible to take. But anyway, you know, so all eyes turned this morning to Sunland Park, of course. My boys down there, Mr. Paco and Mr. Lopez, right? And again, Jervis, and, and again, all the folks down in New Mexico. I got, I mean, folks, there's a lot of people in the community from New Mexico that watch us, right? So we always love to give them love. And they always say, play music, play music, right? Well, it's not this morning. It's too, uh, my head, I don't want to hear that this morning, right? But, uh, I mean, I love those folks. They're full of energy. They love their racing down there in Sunland Park. And again, they got a derby prep down there, the Sunland Park Derby and the Sunland Park Oaks. And, uh, we've done all those videos. Please go out and watch each and every one of those videos. Like it or dislike it, however, a comment. And let's support those folks down there. We're always supporting the major circuits. So I wanted to do all seven or eight stake races down there for sure. All right, so again, Sunday morning, just having a little fun. I'm going to cool back today. I'm going to play a lot of Sunland Park. I ain't going to do no more work until later this evening, Sunday. So this is our last broadcast for the weekend. And you said, well, why are you here? Well, I got a best bet of the day. Now, you thought two merchant, you thought the merchant horse, Doug O'Neill's horse in the fourth race at Sunland was a pure lock, and he is. The number two, four, three, six, seven, pure lock. Well, my best bet of my best bets. No, you didn't just say that. I said my best bets of my best bets is in a $25,000 maiden claiming race. No, I mean the speed king and his hypocrisy. Well, I do what I do. I see what I see, and I get excited about what I get excited about, and you shouldn't fall in love. Not with a horse. But I do all the time, so it ain't going to stop now and after 40 years. Well, 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 at the fairgrounds, Sunday the 27th of March, the fourth race, it is a $25,000 claim for Louisiana breads. I believe it is for three-year-olds and up going six panels. Your speed king think this is the best bet of the best bet. Better than, than team merchant? Well, just about because of the value. While at fairgrounds in the fourth race, unless I have lost my mind, I open this race up at the fairgrounds. And by the way, turn on your closed caption. And if you want the speed, if you want the tip sheets for fairgrounds today or Sunland Park, I've done the work. You just need to email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Send over 15 bucks. It supports our channel. Our database, our, 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 our speed figures which we paid thousands of dollars for a year to be able to analyze the races. 
And our thumbnails, which is Graphic Greg does a beautiful job. You all see the thumbnails. It's all professionally done. Why? Because I bring it to the classy people. We're going to be classy. Well, I opened this race up on fairgrounds on Sunday, uh, fourth race. And I know I wasn't drinking. And I looked, and I seen the number nine horse. I said, my, my, my. What do we have here? Is it a score? Yeah, I tell you. Well, the number nine, Cajun Cannon. No, you didn't. The CC horse, the number nine. Cajun Cannon, fourth race, fairgrounds, $25,000 playing room, 12 to 1. I said, pardon me? 12 to 1? On the nine? All right, what's wrong with these people? Who makes these morning lines? I, apparently, I got the wrong job. The number nine in the fourth race should beat these horses down. Now, they say, oh, oh, oh. That's what they say to me. That's how they usually approach it, Speed. Oh, 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 Mr. Speed King. You're going overboard. No, I ain't. Not from what I know. The number nine is coming into this $25,000 six furlong race, maiden claiming, off of a $10,000 claiming race. Cajun Cannon has three starts, no firsts, no seconds, no thirds. He's never hit the board, and the Speed King is in love with this horse. The Speed King, maybe he is lost, maybe, maybe the game has passed the Speed King by. That's what they say to me here in the studio. They say, only you can come up with these horses. I said, well, that's true. Because I believe my numbers. 40, 40 years, 25 years reading speed figures. I believe my numbers, and that's the end of it. You said, well, Cajun Cannon has three starts, Mr. Speed King. He's a Louisiana bred. He was gelded, yeah? Ultimate equipment to change. He's by half hour, okay. Shane Wilson is our trainer of record. That's right. And Randy Morrows is in the odds. The horse comes off of a 439-day layoff. From December 12, 2020. Comes back after 439 days. February 24th at the fairgrounds in a $10,000 claiming race. Five and a half furlongs. And he runs fourth by two. Now, Mr. Speed King, they're stepping him up from 10000 to 25,000. That's right. And you love them. I love them. That's what the people said. This game has passed your speed king by. I, I, I beg to differ. As Val Kilmer would say in Tombstone. Well. That return race on February 24th. At the fairgrounds going five and a half paddles. Was a good exercise. But the speed figure that that horse earned in there will beat these horses down in the fourth race. Now, you know, the people going to say, oh, oh, oh. That's how they always say to me. Oh, Mr. Speed King. They always start like that. Oh, right. And I have a bunch of fun. The class. I don't care nothing about no class. The horses don't read. They just run. They run what they run. That's why my figures are so important to me. Now, again, I'm the only guy I know that has profit at this game. And I'm not, that's not a boast or anything, but I've been well ahead of this game for 15 years. And I'm telling you right now, in the fourth race at the fairgrounds on Sunday the 27th of March, the number nine horse should beat these horses down. And they said, that kid never lacks for confidence. I'm not defensive, I'm offensive. If they give me 12 to 1 on the 9 horse here, that's the Cajun Cannon horse. With Morales in the odds and Mr. Wilson doing the signal caller from the trainer booth. 
I got this horse being two to one on fair value in my database. No, you didn't. I just said it. My database, I have a win probability. That's what I do. The other thing that I do that's bigger than speed figures is my win probability. So my win probability is what, what's the win probability of a horse versus his odds? That's where the weighing comes in. Okay, the higher his win probability, the lower the odds we're willing to take. The lower his win probability, we demand more odds. Right? That makes sense? If you got a 10% win probability, I demand that I beat 15, 25, and 1 to take that risk. That way I don't have to bet as much, however I get something out. But if I got a 45% win probability, I'm willing to take 8 to 5. Why? Because it's more likely I'm going to win and I can bet more. So win probability is everything to me and fair odds. So you hear me yell, yell, yell about speed figures, but you, what you should be asking me is what the win probability is. That's really my claim to fame, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't give away the family secrets. You know, you never go against the family, right? But that's really my claim to fame is win probability and fair odds. In other words, this game is about value because I'm risking my money. True? That's true. Sunday morning with the Speed King having coffee as he lectures himself. Not you, because you're all smarter than me, obviously. Classy. About win probability. And when you tell me in the fourth race at, at Beautiful Fairgrounds that the number nine horse Speed figure smacks these around, and he's going to be on the lead. No, you didn't say the number nine is his speed. His king is going to be on the front. The horse is 12 to 1. I can't get more excited. And how much do I, how much more, though, than I love uh, Team Merchant over at Sunland in the second race with Doug O'Neill? I love this one more. At 12 to 1. Why? Because if I have an edge, I'm going to take advantage of it. Now, the problem that we have here in the fourth race is that everybody else has speed figures too. There's no way this horse would be 12 to 1. The number 9, Cajun Cannon, to me is a lock. Stepping from a $10,000 maiden claim into a twenty five, dollars And of course, I always put myself out there. I mean, when I make these kind of calls, um, you, you know, you're putting yourself out there. But I only believe what I believe, and I stand by my opinion always. That's why I tell you, always bet your opinion. I'm not, a off I'm not a defensive player. I'm an offensive player. I believe what I believe, and I'm going to attack the race based on what I do. Sometimes I win, sometimes I don't. But boy, when I'm right, I'm taking home some shackles. That's Speed King currency. Man, I don't know how this Cajun Cannon loses this race. And 12 to 1 is mind-boggling to me. It really is. So that's our best bet of our best bets today. The number 9 Cajun Cannon. Who would be our second pick? Well, I don't care. But I guess uh, Hillary, 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 the number eight, I guess, would be the next horse. And I guess the next horse after that would probably be maybe the number seven classic, uh, Mongolia. And I guess if there was another horse, maybe the number one horse, uh, Magic Lightning. But I don't care. I'm not even going to go through the rest of them. I'm just telling you, I'm waiting for the fourth race at the fairgrounds. I'm betting Cajun Cannon. I'm going to push them. 12 to 1 is not fair. To me. So there it is. That's my best bet. Oh, Speed King, simmer down. I know. Y'all love me, right? But listen. I like the number nine horse Cajun Cannon here a whole bunch. He's my best bet of my best bet. And when I see 12 to 1, yeah, if I get anything near that, I'm willing to lose a couple hundred dollars, uh, you know, at 12 to 1. They told me, they told me Summer in Malibu with, with Chelsea Bailey up couldn't win and she ran out of the TV screen at 12 to 1 and we had $125 to win on her. I thought it was a ridiculous.
This is my best bet of the day, and I love me some two merchants over there at Sun Sunland Park. I believe it's race number four. I love that horse. I'm gonna just, matter of fact, maybe I'll just parlay one to the other. Fairgrounds fourth race, ninth nine horse y'all, twelve to one. I in my database, the horse should be two to one. Fired up on a Sunday. As always, folks, I'm not even going through the rest of them to me. Use the 8 and the 7 underneath, I guess, the 9. I would do a 9 all, all in my tri-factor. Hope the thing falls apart in the back. And I get 50 to 1 to 30 to 1 to run second and third. I'm betting the number 9 Cajun Cannon. He is my best bet of the weekend. I think it's a get-out race or get-out for the weekend. As well as Team Merchant. I think it's a sure beatdown. So as always, folks, stay classy. Down in the description, you will see our disclaimer. And if you want the Sunland Park tip sheets, email me, please, this morning. Speedking24 at Yahoo.com. And if you don't have the money, don't worry about it. Email me. I'll give them to you. Why? Don't matter. You'll catch up with me on the back side. And if you want the fairgrounds tip sheet, email me where? You know, speedking24 at yahoo.com. I love Cajun Cannon race number four at the beautiful fairgrounds 12 to 1. Let's see if we can get it. Stay classy, y'all. It's Sunday morning. I'm fired up. Your speed king is in rare form once again. Stay classy, y'all. Y'all know I'm having a bunch of fun. And by the way, shout out to those peacocks in Jersey City. You know why they're winning? Because they love what they do. And here's the key. They're having fun. That's why I tell you, there's nothing wrong with having fun unless you're not getting none. Have some fun when you go racing. Trust me. No pressure, no stress. You'll end up winning. Have some fun, folks. Number nine, as always. Fourth race, fairgrounds. To us, flat out lock. Stay classy, y'all.